Well, good morning, everybody. Good morning. This is Gloria Drummond, Jesus is the Answer Ministries. Welcome to my channel. You're always welcome to my channel. Today is November the 4th of 2023. 2023, and the time is, <clears throat> time is 5.30 a.m. And um, this is just going to be uh, an early morning chat, coffee and Jesus, coffee and Jesus. <clears throat> um, there's a, a, a deputy, deputy that I follow on Facebook, <clears throat> and he did a video, he did a, a, a video. On, on Facebook he did one and um, anyway it's about it's about family you know um, it's about family that won't support you no matter what <clears throat> you know they'll, they'll they'll do everything they can to, to try to tear you down you know nothing you do is right you know, etc. And it resonated big time with me, big time with me, because pe friends can hurt, hurt you. Yes, friends can badly hurt you. But family members, family members, it cuts to the heart. It cuts to the heart. It doesn't matter. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Excuse me again. <clears throat> it doesn't matter what you try to say or what you try to do, you know. You're always going to be put down. Always put down. That's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. Like I said, friends can hurt you. Friends can hurt you. I know I've been hurt by friends, close friends that I've known for years and years and years. But when it's family, it really cuts. It cuts deep. It cuts deep. And <clears throat> we cannot let the opinions of others or what others say to hurt us. It should make us stronger. It should make us stronger. And more determined, more determined to rise above, rise above it all, you know, and keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Because, like I say, you know, family members, they might mean well, they might mean well, or they'll try to, to tear you down try to make you feel so low, make you feel just so low that you're not worth anything at all. <clears throat> and that's not true. That is not true. It's not true. And I just wanted to get on here this morning and talk to you a little bit. You do what you, you know that the Lord wants you to do. Never mind what they say. We're, we will have to stand before the Lord. We all will. At the judgment seat of, seat of Christ. At the judgment seat of Christ. We will all have to face God. We all will. Nobody's exempt. Nobody is exempt. And again, you cannot let the words of family members, some family members, you cannot let the words of them tear you down. Or sh I should say tear you, tear you down even more than you've already been torn down. You know, push, push to the ground, you know. It's time to start a brand new, it, it's, it's, it's time to stop listening to what they say 
or what they don't say. What you might want them to say that, that, that they just won't because they won't support you. That's the bottom line. They will not support you. They will not support you in your in your decision in your decisions. You know. That's why the old saying, you know, love them, pray for them, put them in the balcony, love them from a distance, and get on with our lives. And those of us that that have, you know, aged. Those of us that 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 have aged, we don't have too many more years left, and we don't know. Also, don't know when the Lord's going to return. We don't know that either. We don't know that either. But you cannot live your life to please other people. You cannot live your life to please other people, because in the end, it doesn't matter what you say or do or whatever. It's still not going to be good enough. It's not going to be good enough. That's the bottom line. It's not going to be good enough. Amen? You know, it's, it's, it's not going to be good enough. But that resonated with me this morning. When I, when I watched Brian, Brian Woodard, he's a deputy in, in, in Texas. But when I watched his video this morning, that resonated with me big time big time you cannot be again it goes back to being people pleasers being people pleasers I mean we have to uh, also we have to work out our own salvation with fear and trembling we have to work out our own salvation we have to we have to you know and <clears throat> because again there's going to be people that's going to put you down no matter what you say or do or no matter what you don't do or what you don't say or whatever there's going to be people that's going to put you down and that's confirmation for me in, in, in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways. His video was confirmation to me. You know. Because like I said. I, I've been kind of walking around in the wilderness now for quite a while. As some of you some of you know. Even though I haven't been on here. For what? Eight months? Maybe not that long. I, I, but, but yeah. I have been through. I have been through the mill. I've been through the mill and back. <laughs> and anyway, go ahead and love your family. But but tread lightly. Tread lightly. Let them live their own lives. Let them live their own lives. But we have to live our own lives and make our own decisions. Let the Lord guide us. Let, let, let Him guide us. Let Him lead us and guide us. And He will. He will. And like I said too, you know, it hurts when, when you lose very, very dear friends that, you, that you've had, that you've known for years and years. That hurts like the Dickens. That hurts. But when it's family. But when it's family. When it's family. It can cut deep. It can cut like a knife. It can cut like a knife. And they don't care. They absolutely don't care. You know. That's the way it is. And then now the times that we're living in. The times that we're living in. Redeeming the times, for they are evil. They are evil. Redeeming the times. So, <clears throat> I'm going to read a couple of my devotionals this morning. I'm going to read a couple of my devotionals. But it's time to pull, pull ourselves up. 
<clears throat> pull ourselves up and let God be God. Let God be God. Let go and let God. Let go and let God. Amen. Let go and let God. All right, I'm going to read two devotionals out of my Jesus first. Jesus first. All right. Look ahead. And the scripture to this is Isaiah 43, 18. It says, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. And I am very guilty of dwelling on the past. <clears throat> I'm guilty of dwelling, dwelling on the past. I tend to go back to the past a lot. All right. <clears throat> Though the mistakes of our past can be good lessons, sometimes the pull of shame keeps us from moving forward. There is a time to leave the past in the past and to look forward to what is ahead. There is more goodness, more beauty, and new life waiting for us. Jesus is always leading us into the life. He is restoring what was lost in the wreckage of sin and death. He is redeeming the disappointments and healing our broken hearts. He is fully aware of our tendencies toward ruination and self-criticism and he is calling out to us in his love he speaks to us reminding us of who we are in him he is leading us into wholeness driving us forward to hope in hope and joy there are better things ahead than we can imagine so let's take the advice of our God today and forget the former things, not dwelling on the past. Not dwelling on the past. <clears throat> Loving leader, thank you for your love that breathes hope into my heart. I fix my eyes on you, Jesus, and I trust that your words bring life and healing. Move me into your mercy, in your mercy, as I look ahead with eyes of faith, with eyes of faith. And faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence not seen. The evidence not seen yet. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, and the evidence not seen. The evidence not seen. All right, I'm going to read one more. This is the one for today. For today. A way in the wild. A way in the wild. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness. Oh my heavens. And I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. Isaiah chapter 43 verse 19. Dynamite. Boom. Boom. Okay. I'm going to start it again. Through the weeds of this life, Jesus makes a way. He paves paths, <clears throat> paths in the wilderness, and he provides refreshing water in the wasteland. Everything he touches is brought to life. He does not demean us or tear us down. He doesn't demean us or tear us down. He builds us up in our weaknesses. He builds us up. He is the restorer of all things, and he is always create, creatively working for our good. And all things work together for good to those who love the Lord. Amen. When was the last time you felt the hope of something exciting on the horizon? Fresh, fresh starts do not have to be scary. They are also exciting, and they fill us with revived joy and vision for the future. May you see what Jesus is up to in your life. May you catch a glimpse of the goodness that awaits you in Him. Press into His presence today with hope and expectation. He is doing a new thing, and it is good. He's doing a new thing, and it is good. Amen. Wonderful one, as I look, for, look to you, give me vision 
to see what you are doing in my life. Revive my hope in the joy of your presence today and fill me with your goodness and light. Wow. These are, these are good devotionals. <clears throat> really good devotionals. <clears throat> like I said, like I said, friends can hurt you. Friends can hurt. But when it's family, when it's family, it doesn't matter who it is in the family. It doesn't matter who it is. But when families hurt you, it's 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 even worse. Because, like, again, it cuts like a knife. Knife. It cuts like a knife. It cuts like a knife. But we have to get past. We have to get past all that. We have to get past all that. You know? And Jesus will help us. Jesus will help us. He'll help us if we let him. If we let him. He'll help us. He'll lead us into all truth. And he is the only way. The truth and the light. Jesus is the only way. You know, we cannot let what others say affect us. We cannot let what other people say or do affect us. You know? And again, we all have to work out our own salvation. We all have to work out our own salvation. That's so very true. Again, let go and let God. Let go and let God. Some things are hard. Some things are hard to do. Some things are hard. But with God's help, give it to God. Give it to God. <clears throat> he will make the crooked path straight. And you'll find out that you were stronger than you thought you were. Stronger than you thought you were. And that's so very true. You know the old saying with age comes with with age comes wisdom. That is true. With age comes wisdom. So anyway, I love you guys with the love of Christ Jesus. Now I didn't do this video to upset anybody. I didn't do that do this video to upset anybody. I'm just saying that that video that I saw earlier it, it resonated with me down in down deep into my heart it resonated with me we cannot let what people say about us or to us we cannot let it affect us cannot let it affect us because it, it'll it'll destroy us if we let it it will destroy us <clears throat> You know, they might be very well-meaning. It might be very well-meaning in some cases. But it is what it is. Yes, my eyes still bother me. My sinuses are still bothering me. Oh, my. But anyway. Be, be you. Be you. Be you. Be me. I have to be me. <laughs> I have to be me and I have to do me. With God's help. With God's help. With God's help. With God's help. Get in the Word and read the Word like, I, like I've always said. Read the Word. So anyway, I don't know where the Lord's going to lead me. I don't know where the, where, <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know other than I know what God has placed in my heart. I've known it for a long, long, long time. Well, almost probably over 10 years now that I've, you know, and I've had to go through lots of valleys, to crooked roads, but he goes far ahead of us and makes the, the crooked path straight. He goes far ahead of us and makes the crooked path straight. Give it to God. Give it to God. And remember, too, I'm not that perfect Christian. I'm the one that knows I need Jesus. Remember that. God doesn't want perfect because there is nobody perfect. There are nobody perfect, is nobody perfect in this world except Jesus Christ who walked the earth. He was perfect and without sin. But he, be, he became sin when he gave his life on that cross. Well, you know what I mean. He took all of the sins of the world on him when he, he did what he did when he went to that cross. And he did what he did. And we don't know what all we're going to have to go through. We don't know. And I've said this too. We don't know what all we're going to have to face. But it's better to take Jesus' hand and let him lead us. Let us hang on to his hand. And he'll take us through. He'll take us through. He'll take us through. He'll take us through. So, I will keep everybody updated on what's taking place. I'll keep you all updated. And we have to make, again, we have to make our own decisions. Not be people pleasers. We have to make our own decisions on things. Treat others the way that we would want to be treated. Love one another. Be kind to one another. And love one another as he has loved us. Yes. Yes. I love my Gospel Minute Live family. I love my Gospel Minute Live family. Such wonderful, wonderful people. Wonderful, wonderful people. They sure are. So anyway, like I said, you know, one more valley, one more hill. Mm -hmm. I love you all. I love you all. So let's do the Our Father, okay? And I'll go ahead and close. But I, again, I want to get on. Want to get on here this morning and do this little little chat with you guys. Do this little chat. I am very happy. I am happy in the Lord. I'm happy. I'm happy in Jesus. I'm happy in Jesus. And He puts, and He'll also put people in your lives sometimes he removes other people and he puts new people in our lives he puts new people in our lives you know so let's do the our father all right our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen in the name of the Father, 
Son, Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Forever and ever unto all ages. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. I love you. I love you. I really, really do. Jesus loves you. He really, really does. He really, really does. All right, you guys. And again, this is November the 3rd of 2023. This is Saturday. This is Saturday. Remember, sp spring forward, fall back. Yes, spring forward, fall back. And I will be changing my clocks tomorrow. I don't like slow time. I don't like the slow time. <laughs> so, all right, you guys, have a blessed day. Have a blessed weekend. Be blessed and not stressed. And remember, thumbs up, eyes to the sky, for we know not when our Lord will return. We know not the day or the hour. We must be ready. Keep on the whole armor of God, the breastplate of righteousness, the helmet of salvation. Keep on the belt of truth, the boots of peace, the sword of the spirit, and the shield of faith to be able to come up against the wiles of the devil because he seeks to kill, to steal, and to destroy. And he roams about like a roaring lion, seeking to whom he may devour. Don't let it be you. Don't let it be you. All right? All right, you guys. Until my next video, bye-bye.